You might find yourself wondering from time to time, what are Trump supporters thinking? Well, it turns out psychologists have been wondering that as well. And they've done quite a bit of research, some of it specifically on Trump supporters, some of it on right wing American political thought, some of it on how people become conservative in the first place. And I think that some of this research, just a brief overview, would be very helpful in understanding both the current situation we're in and also how strong Trump supporters might react if things go badly for them, if their candidate were to lose a presidential election. For instance, I want to give credit, by the way, to Chaucey de Vega of Salon for collecting some of these. We're going to attempt to fill out the list with little tidbits of psychological research. Let's jump right into it with why people have this sort of MAGA styled backlash, okay? So, backlash is triggered because ideal and material structures of the status quo have been abruptly displaced, and those who occupy those structures wish to return to the time before displacement when they were sitting and standing in what was obviously, and not just in retrospect, a better place. Now, for different groups in different times, in different political contexts, that better place could mean different things. It could mean a better economic place. It could mean a racial hierarchy where you were sitting at the top. I'm not saying which the Trump supporters are thinking about, but maybe it's one of those things. And it can lead to some negative thinking, some even chaotic thinking. I want to turn now to some interesting research about the need for chaos in politics. Researchers asked a number of subjects if they agreed with the following statements. One was, I fantasize about a natural disaster wiping out most of humanity such that a small group of people can start all over. The sort of scenario that's in a lot of teen sci-fi novels. I think society should be burned to the ground. Sometimes I just feel like destroying beautiful things. There is no right and wrong in the world. So some of those are sort of anti-establishment ways of thinking, but some of them are just amoral, the entire thing can just be blown to bits Alderaan style, and I would be perfectly fine with that. Well, in this survey, nearly one in four respondents, 24% agreed that society should be burned to the ground. 40% said when it comes to our political and social institutions, I cannot help thinking, just let them all burn. Now, there are some productive things that that could lead to, hypothetically. There's also some incredibly unproductive, drain the swampy style, shallow invocations of that way of thinking that is really just a desire to see things sort of be shaken up in a negative way. That isn't necessarily mollified by suddenly your group being in power. You still want that feel of chaos in politics. And it's a weird combination, those two things. We know also that people who endorse authority and strong leaders and do not mind inequality, the two basic dimensions underlying right wing political ideology show lower levels of emotional abilities. That is research you can read, Van Heil and his associates. It's also something you can experience yourself by going on Twitter literally any day, you can find that. Beyond that, we know that other research shows that Trump supporters and other conservatives are likely to exhibit what psychologists call the dark triad of human behavior. That's Machiavellianism, psychopathy, and narcissism. Now, again, this sort of research, especially in a context like this, where I'm just doing some broad brush, giving you an idea of what's out there that you can do more, more research in, does not mean that every Trump supporter is Machiavellian or a psychopath or a narcissist or whatever. Sure, Trump is, um, but it is more common. It's not to say that people who don't like Trump can have those traits, of course they can. But there is a pretty strong trend that has been identified in a number of different pieces of research. And what's especially interesting is when you talk to Trump supporters about what they get out of being a Trump supporter, especially in its most purified form, and that is attending a Trump rally. Some of them have been interviewed and they said things like, once you start going, it's kind of like an addiction, honestly. I love the energy. I wouldn't stand in line for 26 hours to see any rock band. He's the only person I would do this for, and I'll be here as many times as I can. And can you really blame them to be surrounded by 10, 15, 20,000 people who are all chanting the same thing as you, who all think exactly like you, who all hate the same people as you? That can get you high if you're a certain type of person. And if you're not a certain type of person, it's on you to know what this is about, to do the research, to be prepared for what happens if things get even worse in America. Thank you for watching this clip from The Damage Report. For more content from the show and access to TYT Network members only exclusives, go to tyt.com slash Brooke. Wait, no, it's tyt.com slash John. Go to tyt.com slash John to sign up.